A really requested video idea I've had is a sniping tutorial, and since I haven't uploaded for two weeks, here you are. Sniping is the act of intentionally getting into someone's game to kill or troll them. The stream sniping, where you go after streamers or YouTubers to get reaction, and then the stat sniping, where you intentionally ruin someone's FKDR, or win streak, whatever. Believe it or not, it's not really as hard as you think to snipe someone yourself with the right tools and knowledge. A huge part of sniping, whether it's legit or not, is ults. People with win streaks and FKDR will be watching out for snipers, aware that people are out to get them. Beginner snipers are really easy to spot as they've got almost completely brand new accounts, dumb names, or high stats. You can combat that by trying to make your account look as legit as possible by lowering the FKDR and losing several games on it. If you're too lazy to do that, you could also purchase alts from locals or similar sellers as they sell already used alts from real people. To sum it up, you need your account to look not suspicious as otherwise your tackle will most likely leave the queue. If they do leave the queue though, you try not to re-queue them for a while on the same account because that's a common mistake and it's really suspicious and will most likely be really wary of you. Overlays are tools which let you see the stats of all the players in your lobby. They're more useful if you're trying to avoid being sniped but they can still help you when you're sniping. If you don't have a target, for example, and you're queuing blind, then overlays let you see if there's anyone notable in your game. The main two overlays I use are Cubify and Prism. Cubify is good but it's not open source and it has some features blocked behind a paywall such as anti-sniper integration. Basically, anti-sniper is a site which provides information about win streak estimates and other things which usually be private, although bear in mind it's not always 100% accurate but I think it does the job. Finding people to snipe can be tricky since they can do various things to try and hide their stats such as nicking or making their win streak private. Trackers make it easy to find targets though, by listing players with high FKDR, win loss, and win streaks. The most popular tracker is made by Daisuke, and I'll leave a link to it in the description, and all it is, is just channels, and a Discord bot sends messages to them with FKDR updates, and I'd really recommend it. Unless you're sniping legit, which is hard, then you'll most likely be using a hack client. The cheat and config you use can make or break a snipe, depending on how things go. If you're sniping legit players with cheats, which is actually sad and I personally don't condone that, then you have to worry less about your config and more about your game sense. If you're sniping cheaters, then a good client and config is key, although game sense is still highly important. The two main clients that I'd personally recommend for sniping are Vape 4 and Astolfo. I know they've got high price points, but this is because they both have really good kill aura, especially in HVHs. So, I know I'm not an amazing sniper or anything, but I've sniped a fair bit and I've gained a decent amount of knowledge to do with sniping, so here are some tips from which I've learned over time. Firstly, if your opponents cross map, so basically cross the map and not next to you, then you should defeat your first rush, then simply stack up as much as possible. This really increases the chances of you winning in fights, and collecting diamonds is super super helpful, so always get as many upgrades as you can. I'd say get sharp and then prot. If your opponent is your first rush, then I recommend bridging high up to put them at a high disadvantage, and chainmail armor or better is literally necessary if you're sniping, so get that too. Another tip is to take your target by surprise. If you get in their queue, don't do anything to attract attention to yourself. The same applies to when the game starts. If they know that you're sniping them, then they'll target you, so stay quiet until you've taken them out. People often don't realize as well that when you're queuing, you can just run slash play and then the game with technical name and it'll quickly put you into a game. For example, Bedwars solos would be slash play Bedwars 8 1 and doubles is slash play Bedwars 8 2. I'll leave a full list of them in the description, but it's definitely much faster than manually kicking the NPC in the lobby though. So that's basically my guide. I actually hope it helps because it's a good 800 words. Um, my bad for being kind of inactive, but I've just been meeting up with friends and stuff. So yeah, anyways, peace out.